Harvey Weinstein found guilty of third-degree rape in a landmark Me Too movement case, and this should end, that verdict should end the whole idea of the Hollywood casting couch. And you would say, okay, what's the Hollywood casting couch? It is all the action by some producers of movies or people who call themselves producers of movies who expect a, um, if you will, woman, actress, to sleep with that person if they want to get a role. So if they want to be in this movie, then a person like Harvey Weinstein essentially believes there's a price of admission. But in his instance, and if you look at, uh, I have to admit, folks, I didn't look in detail at these stories because they're of a lurid nature that I'm not comfortable reading, okay? Um, just, just the way it is. But the bottom line is he attacked and violated a number of actresses who felt that they were powerless to do anything and then they were basically talked out of doing anything or thought of feeling bad about what happened to them by other women who said, well, that's the way it is, as opposed to it shouldn't be that way. But this has gone a long time and it, you don't have to say it, it reminds me and this is something I'm just going to let loose about because I've always been told I was a nice guy, right? And they say nice guys finish last. Well, part of being a nice guy was asking, well, how come as a woman you have to deal with this or how come you have to deal with that? And getting an answer that um, was not kosher. And I just don't want to go into detail right now, but I'm talking about high school, college, you know, where you're like, oh, you're the nice guy. Oh, you're the nice guy. Oh, you're the nice guy. Well, maybe now, after so many decades, it's finally more than okay to be a nice guy. It's desired. And so now nice guys should finish first, not last. You understand what I'm getting at? This is something that's been burning inside me for a long time because society created Harvey Weinstein. And society needs to take responsibility for the fact that it created Harvey Weinstein. It wasn't just Harvey, okay? But he was the end result of a society that says, hey, if you're a nice guy, you finish last. Guys who are not nice do things like what he did. Period, end of story. And oh, I'm going to take this a step further. People who are not nice make up stories and lies about other people. And so the next, and I do mean the next frontier should be in the social media environment, stopping people who insist on making up false narratives about other people for the purpose, for their own nefarious purposes, which can be done through video and social media today, unfortunately, all too easily. That has to stop as well. We have to get to a point where, hey, look, the truth is as you see it, right? With your own eyes where you're there. But I digress. This is a great day for the Me Too movement because it really went a long way towards shattering Hollywood's casting couch culture. And the women who did this uh, action, who succeeded in making that happen, um, were uh, identified by Ellen Barkin, you know, the actress, and she uh, listed, Ellen Barkin did, uh, the five women who really stuck their neck out to uh, make their case. And right here, Rosie as well has, has pointed out to them, actually, uh, that's her. Let me, let me see if I can get Ellen Barkin's Twitter account. Uh, Barkin. There. And, uh, yeah. 
Ellen Barkin here, okay? This, okay? And she wrote here. So, Mimi Haley, Jessica Mann, Ella Bella Siora, Don Dunning, Lauren Dunn, and Tara LaWolf, okay? So those are the women who put Harvey Weinstein away. But again, I, I say this and I, and I want this emphasized, that uh, tell, tell your sons that being a nice guy is prized and expected and rewarded. There is nothing wrong with being a nice guy. Nice guys do not finish last. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube.